Welcome back to the realest channel on YouTube, man. Make sure you stay true and hit the like button. And don't be a hater of your life. Subscribe right now. We are currently on our way to zero degrees. I really don't know if they have zero degrees everywhere. They have them around Houston. I've seen pictures of their food and everything that they have there. And you guys, it always makes my mouth so watery. lucky guy he got a mango nada the girls got strawberry lemonades and they look delicious that looks good that's the truth right there and so we're still waiting on our food i can't wait to show y'all now this right here buddy is the elote i was telling y'all about and lucky got the same thing the girls got chicken tenders. Hey, y'all want to share a ketchup? Me and mama share a ketchup. I'm about to dig in. I got it. Yo, that corn is delicious. <gasps> this is bomb. The elote is probably the best street corn that I've ever tasted in my life. And the strawberry horchata is bomb. They're so genius. It's all right. I'm going to be honest with y'all. It's good. But for the price, this is like maybe like a 35 at the most $40 meal. At the most, and that's pushing it. And we paid 60. I will say their hot wings are so tiny and little. And they're not even that spicy. They kind of have a sweet taste to it, which I don't like, but they're still good. They're crunchy, they're not all wet. It's just a little pricey. Luciano TV, we're not just a music channel or a blog channel. We are jack of all trades. We're a travel channel. We're a food channel. We're a restaurant connoisseur channel. So 
So if you want us to go to a restaurant in your city or in town, type the name of the restaurant in the comments and we'll come over there and give it our Luciano TV review. What was the name of this place we just went to? Zero Degrees. Zero Degrees. I rate it at a... Three out of five. Walk to us. Come on. Come here, little boy. Hello? Oh, there goes the remote. You broke it. Oh my goodness. No. So what y'all guys up to? Look here, man. Y'all ain't gonna be making fun of my boy Log G like that on them comments, man. Y'all can't be tearing his ass up like that on them comments. At least the boy trying, man. You know what I'm saying? That's my mechanic, man. Shout out to my mechanic. He the one who brought my Range Rover back to life, man. Shout out to everybody trying to pursue their passion. You know what I'm saying? That shit was pretty funny, though. <laughs> Grandma Zach, shout out to Grandma Zach in yeah. the house. Granny Zach in the house. Oh my god. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Look, Low G, you cool, but. Low G. Low G is I somewhere. I said Low G. Oh, I thought you said Low G. It's cool and all, but that was pretty freaking. No, I think Low G, my opinion, Low G raps better in Spanish. You know what I'm saying? But he was getting on the track with me and he knows I don't rap in Spanish. So he was trying to rap in English. But he does rap mostly in Spanish. He's a Spanish rapper, you know what I'm saying? He was just trying to rap in English. If y'all if you know Spanish and you're listening to Spanish rap, you would like his Spanish rap. You know what I'm saying? So that's all that is. And uh um, So you guys tomorrow Lucky is gonna go talk to so you guys, tomorrow, like he's gonna go talk to these juveniles. Make sure y'all pray over him and just basically wish him good luck. Um, it's all for a good cause. I'm yeah. so proud of you. Yeah, look, uh, uh, like, Uncle Luck, the thought? motivational speaker, man. And honestly, that's very attractive. Oh yeah. Yeah. You, you find me attractive, baby. Yeah. You I find know. me sexy, baby. <laughs> I didn't say sexy, but <laughs> y'all. When he got home, he ran to the restroom, and I've never say, be quiet. <laughs> and I've never hell? seen I've never seen Look him run his... like that. Stand up, stand up, up. Parate, parate, gordo. He's trying to get on his bike. Stand up. Hey, hey, solo, solo. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey. <laughs> Stand up. Stand up. He's like, I am standing up. What you mean? Oh, he's picking his car up. Yeah. What? Anyway, the reason I ran, the reason I ran to the restroom when I came home was because I was picking my cleaners up from the cleaners. And man, there was this foreigner in front of me, this lady from another country, and she was trying to get her shoes replaced, her heels replaced on her heels, on her shoes or something. I don't know. Good job. Good job. Okay, good and, job. And meanwhile, the uh, wings and that mango, what was that mango drink I drank? The mango nada. Mango. The mango nada okay. hit my stomach all at the same time. Look at him, he just got on there. So I was standing in line waiting for my cleaners and this lady's just going on talking and talking and I'm like, oh shit. And it's five o'clock traffic time when I got my cleaners and got in the car, I was driving back home, I was in traffic, lights. I was like, I'm finna shit myself. I be getting on Annalia's ass when she poops in her pants. And meanwhile, she in the back seat laughing at me because she know when I gotta go. So we pulled up and I had to run it straight to the restaurant. It was hilarious. He ran like. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is going on? But yeah, you guys, we haven't really been doing anything today. We were just hanging out with the girls. Um, we did have like the first half of our day we had to sit down and do grown-up stuff we had a business meeting yes we did have a business meeting early this morning and um we got our life insurance situation going on and i suggest any of y'all out there see a lot of y'all have jobs and y'all insurance comes out of y'all jobs and that's cool but if you got a job like mine where you know what i'm saying i don't got no retirement or no 
insurance, health insurance, no benefits, none of that. So if you work for yourself, I suggest you find you some good insurance and get you a life insurance so if you kick the bucket, your family won't be trying to sell barbecue plates to pay for your funeral. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't have that with me, man. If I die tomorrow, they'll be like, Lucky was a baller. Now everybody's selling, his family selling barbecue plates trying to bury him. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna have all that around here, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody gonna be straight. All these kids gonna be straight. Not only that, you guys, it's just the growing up, you have to know. Like me, I was never taught about credit or life insurance or health insurance so be when i became an adult it was kind of like you know what am i gonna do in order for me to like be stable you know later on in life just certain things that you have to look into when you become an adult let me give you some it's game. important get you a roth ira account and the money you put in there is taxed so the money you take out which grows interest is not taxed because the money you put in I was already taxed from the beginning. So say you put this much money, 10, 15 years from now when you take it out, it's this much money. You're not gonna get taxed when you take that money out. You know what I'm saying? Really, you should do a lot of research on that because we don't have a full scoop on how it works for everybody. But yes, that is the basics of it. And yes, like like you said, we encourage y'all to get life insurance and fix your credit fix man your credit. build your credit i got i got my you want to y'all want to know some game if y'all ever watch our videos and y'all always notice there's an ad on there about somebody fixing they it says get your credit fixed and credit repair you know what i'm saying on these videos i'm you probably seen the ad on our videos and that's because i want y'all to fix y'all credit and i put in the tags on my videos that i upload i put credit repair i put real estate because those are the type of ads i want to show y'all i'm hoping y'all take that and soak it up it's, click on it you know what i'm saying it's all game it's all game i'm trying to hook y'all up y'all don't even know it from the minute y'all start watching our family maybe not th this vlog but if you're continuously watching our vlogs y'all gonna and, see some credit repair and ads, also the ads the ads gonna see have some a lot real estate ads the ads have a lot to do with the editing process the uploading process in the video so yes all that is basically i mean we don't choose the the exact ad but the tag is like the subject that's what i put in the tags for so. all my videos so i make sure those are the type of ads that y'all see you need some good credit and you need some insurance in this country so i suggest everybody work on their credit score man get your credit score up hey it benefits you in the long run that's how the rich white people stay rich man yeah you know what i'm it saying really is. So we're going to leave y'all with this on this Friday night. Don't go blow your paycheck that you made on uh, alcohol and all that extra stuff that really don't matter. It's here today and it's yeah. going to be here tomorrow even don't if you die. Don't be soaking your body with alcohol, man. Don't do that, man. But I want to give a shout out to Thalia Cisneros. <laughs> I know we've been slacking on these shout outs, you guys. But, you know, oh, I'm coming through with it. And I was like, babe, what have we been doing? We ain't been showing love to our subscribers. Like, you need to start giving these shout outs again. So, hold on, I'm going to give you a shout out right now. Thalia Cisneros, thank you, girl. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, man. I'm going to give a shout out to Joshua Romero because he said he's been bumping me since he was eight years old. His pops put him on with my Lucky Me album. His favorite track was Out on Bond. Showing love all the way from the 432 Midland, Texas Square Business. You heard? Hey, y'all want to know a fun fact about Lucky? That song Out on Bond from Lucky Me was my demo. That was the first song I ever recorded. That song, I don't bond. I didn't Sweet. even, yeah, I didn't even know how to write 16 bars or a bar. I didn't even know what bars was. That's why the verses are all hella long in different amounts. <gasps> go ahead, Houston. You could do it. Good job. Yay, Gordo. Come here. Come here. Come on, Gordo. Come on. Come on. Come. Come Good get boy, it. Houston. Come get it. Come get it. Ah. <laughs> ah. Then gotta pay me for a walk through. Them colored hunters who I talk to. I ain't speaking. Pull my farm out with caution. Skirt. Nah, I ain't get it from the ocean.